my cyber angels, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you very much for liking and sharing all the videos and coming into the life and if you are new and you've just landed on this page or this channel uh, welcome to this channel and I hope you will enjoy the readings and remember I also do weekly readings that's just one video for all the signs for every day and this is the personal reading for you for the whole week for your zodiac sign I'm just making a general introduction video so I'll try to keep it short as there is also new stuff news um, welcome like I said and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be informed um, uh, or notified rather when something new happens when I go live or when new videos are loaded up there are also romance readings every month and uh, weeklies and uh, a separate one for all signs just see what resonates with you and take it from there and the news is that um, I'll be going live on face uh, on Facebook on Sunday the 2nd of August and it is on the page of online well-being mind body spirit fair the 2nd of August so join us there it is at 11 till 1900 British Standard Time and on the Eastern Time it is 6 o'clock in the morning until 1400 and I'll repeat that 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening British Standard Time and 6 o'clock till 2 o'clock Eastern Time and I hope you will enjoy that there are loads of cyber stalls because uh, there are a load of participants that are selling their wares or showing you uh, what they do like tarot readers uh, Reiki Masters Meditations I'm coming in with the Lenaman so come and join me I'm going live at 12.40 um, that is um, the uh, Dutch time and 6.20 in the evening till 7 o'clock um, also so keep a scout around you can find me under Charlie's Angel and uh, perhaps the times might be different so excuse me if I got the time wrong because in England it is an hour early and an hour later for me so please join me in the online well-being mind body spirit fair tomorrow the 2nd of August and that is one bit of news and the second bit of news is that I have got a new page it's called Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook and there um, we can interact really much better than just the chat and there will be meditation groups uh, workshops uh, other things happening there it is a private group so remember that if you do join you don't have to join in all the live sessions but it is called the rooms or the space and there you can see each other but you can always uh, switch off your video camera and take place so um, if you do join that group please respect the privacy of others and I do not take uh, uh, discrimination or of any kind or pesting lightly then one will get disqualified deleted without notice or warning so if you would like to uh, join the private group then please join us and I've also got out two new reviews on two books uh, which I'm going to use with an English witch and a Dutch witch I'm going to make the new series with Wendy um, on the, the healthy witch and the workplace spell and um, everyday magic on the job so have a look at these two reviews and see if you would like to join me with Wendy or with the other witch the Georgina 
in English there will be in two languages and there will be a new series so I'm doing a live review on YouTube with Wendy and with Georgina so here we go and we're going to start off with your reading thank you for being here and remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign I love you love from cyber mom and big cyber hugs and I hope to see you back if you're a cyber angel in the live sessions and if you can't join us because of holiday or any other reason enjoy your holiday stay safe and stay well Hi Taurus, this is your reading for the 3rd to the 9th of August and I'm Shah and I'll be doing the reading for you this week and um, I hope you've enjoyed the little bit of information that I've just given and your first card is the Page of Rods. You could be meeting a Sagittarius as he's the Page but don't exclude Aries or Leo they will be bringing you news. Anybody could bring you the news, but you could meet one of these fire signs. Okay. Now, the second card that you have is the Eight of Bows. And the Eight of Bows is the Eight of Rods. People gathering around the campfire. They didn't have digital <laughs> telephones there or smartphones and it means coming together in this deck and also sharing news the eight of rods also means um, things might be happening very swiftly for you and all together and that is what they perhaps debating about who's going to do what because you might not be able to cope with all the things that are happening you could get cyber news though and cyber news means email text message or a phone call and with the eight of bows you um, you might be asking people for help when they phone up and you're telling them all your news or you could be planning to go away and you need help to of somebody to look after your pets or animals or uh, let's say uh, your garden or your house so many hands make light work I get lots of messages from different decks not just the basics so please if you are traveling for business or for holiday take care and perhaps you're de uh, deliberating this with other people and they are willing to help you okay but things it will not rain it will not rain it will pour because so many things are happening you're getting lots of news this card confirms that this news is going to be big fast action boom 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 and so does the eight of rods okay so the second card that you have is the six of swords the six of swords you can see moving away the boat is moving away from us when you look at it and you are moving away from rough water perhaps from the busy life of family and friends you're taking time out peace that's what you are wishing for um, perhaps you just need that break because you've been in a lockdown situation and you need fresh air you need the seaside or you need to be in the lakes and the mountains you just want to have some time alone with you and somebody special perhaps or just with the family you could actually be thinking and debating in the beginning of the week you want to move home you want to move to a serene clean peaceful place so you might be moving home like I said or you might be going on holiday but you're moving away from rough waters into quieter waters tourists and you will feel more at peace the second card that you have is the seer and the seer in this deck um, means that the high priestess in the traditional deck so the seer 
is um, somebody that is very intuitive, very spiritual. She listens to her intuition and to new ideas that come into her. It is number two, so therefore I think you will be in peace. Perhaps you are going on holiday to get peace, like I said, and to think about things. Listen to your intuition. Listen to new ideas. And you want them, put them into practice and into the now and the material. So just take time out. Play the cards close to your chest. She's a very mysterious woman and she does represent the moon goddess. And the moon goddess, the moon means Pisces. So the moon goddess could be honoring Pisces, the moon. Okay. So be careful. Look the cat out of the tree. Don't let the cat out of the bag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, all these cats, you might see a cat, a black cat. That means good luck. Okay. Then on Friday, you've got the Ace of Cups. And literally, your cup is running over. Perhaps you had to take time away or taking time away because so many things uh, so many options are coming towards you. New love, new job, new home that you would love to um, uh, organize and modernize to uh, uh, feeling at home and nurturing it. Perhaps you might have a garden. Start uh, enhancing your garden a bit more. Perhaps you're really getting your hands dirty in the ground. But your cup is running over so you could be meeting um, a Pisces, um, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. That could be one of your new loves, woo, or passion, as the cups stand for love, passion, nurturing, sensuality, and sexuality. These people are very sensual and very emotional. They're also very sp uh, spiritual. Sometimes, if they they're not the queen or the king they let their emotions rule their heart and not their mind so you have to keep that balance like the high priestess she knows what is best she has all the answers to everything but she's not willing to share she's got the book of knowledge or the scroll of knowledge so Pisces is quite predominant here okay and then we have the Queen of Stones. The Queen of Stones is the Queen of Pentacles. She is Mother Earth. Perhaps you are contemplating extending your family. Um, and uh, the, as the Queen of Pentacles is here, the Queen of Pentacles is usually Virgo, but don't exclude Taurus or Capricorn. This time is very fertile to get pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. This could also mean uh, new beginnings. New beginnings in projects, in new births, in projects or a child. You might find out you're pregnant and that is what you wish to do. Nurture a new beginning, a new baby, a new child. <coughs> Perhaps that is what you've been manifesting um, gently and quietly as you keep play the cards close to your chest. You will let it grow, you will nurture it and feed it and grow. let it grow until it blossoms and then you will pluck the fruit or the harvest. That could be happening on Friday as you've got the an ace, the ace of cups. Perhaps you will have a new love if you're not hooked up or an other sort of partnership in business. And at the weekend, we have the lovers. You have met your soulmate. Wow. Okay. That is Gemini. That could be a Gemini. Then we have the Ace of Bows spark of life wow that's the ace of bows that's the ace of wands that is a new spark of life that's the meaning in this card 
like I said, you could be finding out you're pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. But at the weekend, you might find out that you are pregnant. Oh, nice spark of life. Yes, a new beginning. Again, this could be a child. This could be a puppy. Um, this could be a kitten. A new spark of life. A new beginning. But the bows stand for once, so this could also be a new job, a new action. A new action is about to be born. Perhaps a partnership or a friendship is going up to the next level. Something has sparked it off and it feels like you are soulmates. Wow, nice one. And I think you're going to spend the weekend together. Because this is really number six, but you're together. You're in balance. You feel each other. You understand each other. You feel complete. And that is a soulmate. A soulmate doesn't have to be a lover. It can also be a friend that understands and thinks the way you do, lives the way you do. Um, you don't even have to finish each other's sentences. You know how you tick. Now, the angel feather that you have is the fawn angel feather. And the fawn a angel feather is difficulties resolved. The angels are present to inform you that a particularly difficult period in your life is coming to an end. The fawn angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of resolution. The angels have surrounded you throughout this difficult time. They have heard your pleas for help and have delivered your prayers to the Divine. They wish you to know that this confusing period is resolving quickly and will soon be complete. By enduring and surviving these difficulties, you will gain the gifts of insight, clarity and objectivity, like the High Priest S or the Sir. In the future, this insight will enable you to be accepting, accepting of situations. The objectivity gained will allow you to view any person or situation with true compassion. It has been said that an angel is assigned to those who can laugh in the face of misery. Out of the most difficult times come deep blessings for the soul. Well, like I said, listen to new ideas or your intuitions. Play your cards close to your chest. Perhaps there were difficulties because you are going away from difficulties in this card. Perhaps that was the contemplation as to what to do and you have been deciding okay I must move home um, to start a new life. So that's the card for moving home. And also um, sorry and also the Queen of Stones a new house, a new something that you love, that you want to nurture. Perhaps move in with somebody else that is a new partner, but a soulmate. Whoa! Action! Beautiful, beautiful. After arguments, disagreements, after rain comes sunshine. And look at the birds, there will be messages about this new beginning. Six again, so you've got two sixes. You've got an angel number. Have a look on YouTube or Google what six six means. You've got the king of fire. You've got the king of fire. The king of fire is Aries. There could be an Aries that you might be meeting or coupling up with. Make sure this is a fire sign. Make sure that you know their boundaries and your boundaries and let them know your boundaries. Don't make the same mistake twice. I don't know why I'm saying it, but remember this disagreement is short-lived. 
the sun is breaking through and you're moving away from difficulties to a new beginning, a new love, perhaps the next level upwards to new love. And uh, I think Capricorn or Aquarius had this same energy of moving on and upwards or a second chance but you're moving away from the crowds away this is what I'm feeling with you you're moving away from crowds to quietness I think you're going from the city to the country you want to be with your family and your partner just on your own and enjoy the peace and tranquility and nature this is screaming out with me with all the flowers that I can see in the ace and the lovers and the nat natural cards especially the campfire Ooh. and it's very earthy with the queen of stones well Taurus I hope it resonates with you if it doesn't have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and please like and share with family and friends and I hope to see you in the life. Take care and have a wonderful week. Love, Sha. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.